cleaning cat vomit in the baseboard radiator fins. Cats vomit. It's not their fault. We love them anyway. I'm going to show you my method of cleaning it up. Be forewarned, it's thorough, but it is time consuming. If you dislike the smell of regurgitated science diet or fancy fees Ew. cooking on a radiator as much as I do, give this a shot. If you have your own method, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Once I show you how to remove the baseboard radiator cover, I'm going to use a lot of paper towels, a measuring cup, hot water, dish soap, or a gentle cleaning product that can be used on painted surfaces, a catch basin, and a shoelace with a thin piece of stiff wire. You could also use a pipe cleaner. For cleanser, I prefer Mr. Clean with Gain Scent, and for the catch basin, I use a takeout container because it's got a low profile and a lip around the outside. It fits underneath the radiator. Let's move the furniture. I've already cleaned up the large deposits on the windowsill and other places around the floor. Yay. So now for the tough stuff. To remove the radiator cover, lift the tabs on both ends of the radiator, grab the bottom of the radiator cover, and while applying pressure to the middle of the cover with your thumbs, gently pull it towards you from the bottom and it should pop out. This is also a good time to vacuum out the cat hair from the inside of the radiator. With the catch basin under the radiator and towels nearby, pour some water with Mr. Clean or dish soap in it over the fins repeatedly until no more food appears in the basin. Obviously best to do this cleanup before the vomit dries or it takes a while to rehydrate the food. Now that it's thoroughly soaked, we're going to remove any remaining chunks and residue with a pipe cleaner or as I said before, I prefer to use a shoelace threaded with a wire. This is how I do it. Just take a wire and the shoelace, stick it through, wrap it around, tighten it so there are no rough edges, and we're good to go. Soak the shoelace in the solution and basically floss the fins. Don't actually floss it by going in between the fins from the side. Thread it through the bottom or top of each fin to avoid damaging the fin. This is what happens when you do it the wrong way. Also, a toothbrush works well to get in between the front of the fins. Just be gentle. Now we'll rinse with clean, warm water, wipe everything down, including the walls, window, top, inside, in front of the baseboard, and the floor. If vomit found its way between the wall and the back of the radiator, I try to use a coat hanger and a moist rag of Mr. Clean. I told you this wasn't going to be easy, right? Now to put the front of the radiator back on. It can be a pain. Lift the latches on both ends of the radiator. Now put the cover on the top catch first across the entire length of the radiator. Here's a close look of what we're dealing with. You can see the top and the bottom has these little catches. Now gently pull down on the front of the cover and from underneath kind of push up on the lower catch to get it hooked on. It's not so easy. Now snap the end latches down. And I know I've got it back in the same place as it was before by looking at the paint lines. Now for the couch. This also works for low pile carpets too. Luckily the couch only got a few small spots on it, but by now the specimens have dried. I use an old toothbrush and my fingernail to loosen any food bits and then vacuum them up. Now my secret weapon, it isn't really a secret. The Rug Doctor with Pet Formula. It works on cat urine too. The Rug Doctor sprays the water and detergent solution onto the spot and then sucks it up. Go in the direction of the fabric. Once I've gone over all the spots once, I fill the Rug Doctor with fresh water and go over it again. One thing that annoys me about the Rug Doctor is the sprayer under the handle leaks. Anyway, once the couch is dried, it'll be as if this has never happened even though we all know that it did. Yay. All right, now I need some morning coffee. If this video has been helpful, please do me a favor and like it so other people can find it. And thanks so much for watching.